and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I am back for my week four wrap up. I don't think I've ever said, but the way I'm counting my weeks is since the 1st of January was on a Saturday, I'm counting the weeks as Saturday through Friday. So the, yesterday was the fourth Friday, that makes that the fourth week just in case anyone is interested. All right, so for my reading wrap up, how did my week four go? And pretty good. So the book I've been focusing the most on is Goliath by Tochi Anyabuchi, and I am less than a hundred pages away from finishing, so I should hopefully finish this. And because this is a new release, I will have a new release video once I have finished it, but just kind of as a preview, this book is written more in the style of his Riot Baby, novella, and so if you enjoyed that, you're probably going to vibe with this really well. There's not a solid plot running through. It is more, it's it's a character study, is what I would call it, because you're following characters and different vignettes of their life, or different vignettes during the time. And it's set up into different time periods. I'm currently reading winter right now. I'm almost done with that. And then the next one is spring. It seems like they're kind of going, like, that is like the through line it's supposed to be throughout a year kind of what's going on however it also plays with time you'll be introduced to a character in a scene and then the next scene is a flashback to something when they were a child or earlier or there's interviews in here and and that way it can feel very chaotic if you're not expecting it and which I wasn't expecting it because it's not my typical reading thing. So it took me a little bit of time to get into the book. And then I started recognizing, okay, this is kind of the style of Riot Baby. And then the book got a lot easier to read. Final thoughts once I am done. And I did also work a little bit more on I Love It When You Talk Retro. Not as much as I wanted to. Like I said, I was, I'm focusing on Goliath. I wanted to get that done. But this is nice and easy to read in little bits just because of how it's broken up with the talking about the words. So I am going to probably carry this over into February. And then also, just because one night I needed a break from Goliath, I picked up at Abaddon's Gate. I had already read the first chapter, but I kind of bounced off of it. Just that first character in the ship, I was like, this guy is weird. And looking at the next couple point of view characters, they were introducing us to all new people. And I wasn't ready for that. So I had put it down originally. And so I picked it up and got a few more chapters in and have gotten to the point where I think maybe this next one is, yeah, no, I, I've, I've gotten to have a Holden viewpoint. And so that kind of helps to tie things more I'm not certain exactly what I'm going to be expecting of this, except it seems to be picking up where the last one ended. And so for my TBR, definitely I'm going to finish this this weekend. And then this will carry on into the next week. And this, I might pick up a novella later today after I get off work or tomorrow after church, just because they're short. And I, my goal was to read for shorter works and four novels. I'll, I'll go into stats more next week after January is completed. Even though I'm doing weekly wrap-ups, I'm going to do the stats kind of more by month. So they will happen on the week wrap-up that has finished a month, if that makes any sense. Hopefully it does, but okay. Anyway, <laughs> so I've read three novellas. I have one more short work to finish that part of the goal. I'm I don't think I'm going to be reading four novels. I'll get three finishing Goliath, just my reading has been slower. Though if you count my not writing project, I have read like five novellas, so I am, I have actually read more than my goal this month. On to my not writing wrap up. I outlined a little bit more of the short story that I was inspired to outline and having a lot of fun with it. I, so I know how I want the short story to end, and I've gotten to a point where I'm not quite sure what will be the tipping point that will then lead to the ending. For me, it's fun, and I am someone that I can't talk about my my zero draft because then I lose interest 
because I've told the story. I don't know why, that's just how I am. Once I'm in editing, it doesn't matter because it's already written. Sometimes that part, you know, might be a little vague. Again, not planning to do a lot of writing until after February. Majority of the project I'm working on with my husband will be done. And then for other media, last night we rewatched Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and it's just a lot of fun to get to rewatch some of the movies that we really enjoy. I remember watching it first with my parents, and now I get to watch it with my husband. And like with art and media, there's just more than the experience of watching the movie or reading a book for, you know, when you reread it, then you get the time from before or your memories from the time from before and then conversations you've had about it. It helps the art to grow, at least in my opinion, it does. And I know that that college professor is never going to watch any of these videos, but they would probably be very surprised that I'm referencing their class because I hated the class. It was one of those theory film classes and lots of big words, but I guess more sunken than I thought. And on the podcast front, I think the most memorable one was, it's called The Cabinet of Curiosities by Aaron Mankey, who also does the podcast Lore and Unobscured. I like The Cabinet of Curiosities because it's a short podcast. It's normally less than 15 minutes, which sometimes I don't have a lot of time to listen. So it's nice to be like, oh, I can get that one listened to. So from the Thursday one, I think the podcast was called Clumped, but it kind of gave the history of kitty litter and it was a lot of fun. Kind of how it's set. Um, I realize I just spoiled the episode or that section of the episode because they normally do two stories, but normally how it's set up is it's kind of set up like as a mystery and from clues you can kind of be like, oh, what's going on? And I figured it out <laughs> before it was said, so that was fun. Very short wrap up this week. How was your week for? Did you finish anything that you are reading and loving? Did you watch anything that you really enjoy? Thank you and have a great day.